Okay, closing off the month with the last part of my April Impulse Purchase Insanity. These are really the last two products that I purchased and we're going to try them together and they're both from the Pat McGrath Labs sale that was going on until recently. Maybe even it is still going on. It's been going on for a really long time. So I picked up the highlighter trio and one of her singles. Before I start with that, I just wanted to mention another product that um, is sort of new in my rotation. I did purchase this a couple of months ago, so this is by no means a new purchase, but um, I haven't really used it much because I was saving it for the summer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation. Mine is also in the shade 2 and 1 Desert Beige. This is my shade in the Estee Lauder Double Wear range. I've been meaning to try this foundation for a really long time because I've heard really good things about it and since the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light formula has been changed, I didn't really want to risk it to be disappointed by this foundation, so I decided to just try another foundation in the range which might be similar in what I'm looking for. I First of all, let me say this um, loud and clear. The Estee Lauder Double Wear range is definitely my favorite formula of foundation. Just the way it glides, the way it applies, the way it looks on the skin, it's always beautiful and flawless. I do love the original double wear foundation. It is a little bit heavy though and I don't have that foundation at the moment. But this one is more like a light to medium coverage and I like to wear lighter coverage especially in the summer so I figured it would be perfect for that. So today was probably like the fourth time I used this foundation since I have it and I have it since uh, I think I want to say around Christmas time. I love how this foundation applies. It just so it just sits so beautifully on the skin. Look at it. I don't know whether you can see how like flawless and yet a little bit glowy my skin looks like. I just love how this foundation sits on the skin. It applied beautifully. I think it's a fairly good shade match for me. The 2N1 is really it's a, the closest match in terms of foundation that I have found so far and I actually really love the foundation. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it now in the summer. And with that, I think we can proceed to the first new purchase that I made, which is the Highlighter Trio from Pat McGrath. This is called the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. It is not a new product. This has been around for quite a while. It's one of those um, products in her range that comes with the little flappy things. And uh, it's not the easiest to use, but I do like it in terms of aesthetics. I think it, I think it looks really beautiful. And these are the three highlighters that you get with it. This is a sort of like a pink shifter, this is a goldish green shifter, and this is more of like a goldy bronze shade. I actually have this shade in my Pat McGrath Divine Rose palette, but since I really love that shade and I love how it applies as a highlighter, I didn't really mind having a duplicate of it. Also, I think I'm going to use a lot of these as my inner corner highlights when I do looks, but... This was definitely an impulse purchase and probably something I didn't need. But Pat McGrath had a sale and I love buying Pat McGrath products. It had been a while since I bought something from her and here we are now. Let me quickly swatch all of these just on my hand for you so that you can see how they look like. And then we're going to apply two of them as my highlight shade. So here we have the pink copper shifter. Here we have the golden green highlight and here we have the bronzy gold shade. These have a really beautiful formula to them. They sit really beautifully on the skin. I like I said I already have the pink one in the eyeshadow palette and I look and I, and I know that it looks beautiful on the skin. Now what I want to do today is actually mix up these two shades. Like I said, I've used this shade previously. I know how it looks on me, so this is not the most interesting shade in this palette for me. But I want to mix these two. I think this one is a little bit dark on its own, but it is the one that I really like the most. So I think I'm going to just make a mix of these two and see how it goes. Oh, that's strong. Okay, I think you can probably see it uh, very nicely reflecting off of the top of my cheekbones. It sits really beautifully on the skin. It is quite yellow, which is not really my preference. I think the um, shade here in the middle, the really golden one, is probably going to be something that I use primarily on my eyes because on my face I just 
I just don't feel like these super like greeny gold shades really flatter me. So probably I'm going to stick to this one and this one for my face. And I'm going to use the one in the middle primarily as a highlighter or if I'm doing something like with very golden eyes where it would really fit. But generally speaking, um, not my favorite shade of highlighter on me personally. I'm going to put the highlighter trio away for now and we're going to move on to the eyes where I have one more Pat McGrath product to share with you and that is one of her single eyeshadows. This is the shade Rose Venus. It looks like this. It is a beautiful rose gold. Really stunning. It was one of the shades that I had been eyeing for the longest time and, excuse me, and I really... I was really intrigued by this color. I heard a lot of really good things about it, so I decided to purchase it. Let me give you a quick swatch. It's a metallic shade, so it doesn't really have much glitter to it, but it has a really stunning formula to it. Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. Now, as I was going through my eyeshadows yesterday, thinking, hmm, can I dupe this? In the hopes that I couldn't, I unfortunately found something that is... I want to say about 95% similar to, to the shade from Pat McGrath. Um, I actually don't know whether this is still around because Colourpop discontinues things left and right. This one is a classic so maybe it's still around but if you like the shade from Pat McGrath and you don't want to pay the price for it go for the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sequin because <laughs> this is actually the same thing. Let me give it a quick swatch so you can see as you can see, also just applied on my finger, this is the sequin shade, this is the Pat McGrath shade. And as you can see on my arm as well, this one is just a little bit lighter maybe, but it is very similar to the Pat McGrath shade. That being said, I'm not mad to have the Pat McGrath shade because I think the Pat McGrath shade has a prettier formula to it. I just really like the formula of Pat McGrath eyeshadows. But if you're on a budget and you really love this color but you don't want to pay the Pat McGrath prices, go for Colourpop. So I'm going to do a groundbreaking brown rose gold look and I'm going to pull out another Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette for that. This is one of her Opulence um, collection eyeshadow palettes. It is the Bronze Deptation palette which has these gorgeous shades in it. Let me show you and the only two shades we're going for today are the two browns basically. So I'm just going to pull this eyeshadow palette for the two brown shades because I really love the tones of these and I think they would pair well with the... Yeah, I think they would pair really well with the Rose Venus shade. Grabbing a fluffy brush and the lighter shade of brown and going to start working that into my outer corner and crease area. Like I said, nothing too groundbreaking. I'm going to take a more precise outer corner crease type of brush and go into the deeper brown shade and start applying that right here. Being especially careful not to cause any fallout because I already have all of my face makeup on. I'm going to go into the Rose Venus shade from Pat McGrath using a shader brush and I'm first going to apply it dry on my lids. And depending on your preference you might already think this is shiny enough. I'm definitely going to spritz my brush in a bit because I prefer my metallics to be very intense. I'm going to take Rose Venus, spritz my brush and apply the shadow, especially more foiled towards the center of the lid for that real metallic punch. Gosh, that's beautiful. I 
I'm going to very quickly finish off my lower lash line by just applying the brown shades again underneath my lower lashes right here nothing groundbreaking like I said we're keeping it really simple Now for my inner corners I want to apply the gold highlighter shade from the trio and not that this eyeshadow needs it, trust me when I say this eyeshadow doesn't need additional help to look even more beautiful but I want to pop just the tiniest bit of the pink towards the center of the lid just to see how that looks like because I'm curious. I'm going to take that on my finger and just apply the tiniest bit here on the center of the lid that looks really pretty. It's very subtle, but it's really pretty. Just gives it this beautiful, slightly pinkish hue. And that is a great way to play it with the tones of your eyeshadows. And I'm going to take the golden shade and pop it in my inner corners. And here you guys have the final look. Overall thoughts about the two new Pat McGrath purchases that I made. The highlighter trio remains an impulse purchase. There was a reason why I had convinced myself out of it so many times before. I just feel like in terms of shade selection it's not it's not really the best shade selection for me. That being said, I'm still going to enjoy it because I always just get happy looking at and using Pat McGrath products, so I'm definitely going to pull it out. I'm going to use it a lot because I just think it's beautiful. I like how reflective those beautiful domes of baked product are. I love the packaging. It's a Pat McGrath product. I cannot be unhappy with it. I don't think I've ever been unhappy with a Pat McGrath product and I hardly anticipate the day that that's going to happen ever. I am really happy with the uh, shade Rose Venus because I think it is really beautiful. This is definitely not a purchase that I regret. I really, really love the tone of this eyeshadow. It's such a gorgeous neutral but with a little bit of something, something, a little bit of something special in terms of its undertones. Overall, I think the look turned out really beautifully and I'm really going to enjoy wearing it for the rest of the day. I know a lot of you guys have the highlighter trio, so I'm very curious what you think about it. Do you use it often? How do you use it? Does it work for your skin tone? Please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have the shade Rose Venus, let me know because I'm very curious about it. By the way, not to be confused with the shade VR Rose Venus, which is in her Divine Rose palette, which is an entirely different shade altogether. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!